Okay, so now we're going to learn how to multiply three columns by three columns. And I just want to quickly show you these workings here first. Remember in the previous ones where we learned two columns by two columns, every time we worked with the tens column, we had to add a zero because anything times ten has got a zero on like these two here. Nine times ten will be ninety ends in a zero. Four times ten will be forty ends in a zero. But now we've got a hundreds column added in as well, which we're going to use to multiply by. So when we times by 100, we add on two zeros. Look here. 9 times 100 is 9 and two zeros, 900. 4 times 100 is 4 and two zeros. So anything times by 100 gets two zeros. So when we're working with the hundreds column, we are going to be adding two zeros. After we've done the tens column where we add one zero in. So let me show you this first sum nicely. Now, as long as you bear that in mind, then you'll understand everything. I just want to clean up your screen a bit. Okay, so we are busy with multiplication. And let's do the first one. We're familiar with most of it so far. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, we've done with our units now. Now remember, we're going on to our tens. So what do we do when we do our tens? We put a zero, like we know. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times five is 15. Okay, done with our tens column. But we still have our hundreds column at the bottom that has to be multiplied. Look, we've added this column in now. And because it's a hundred, we know a hundred ends in two zeros. So now we're not going to put one zero, we're going to put two, because we're busy with our hundreds column. One times one, so we're doing that way, is one. One times two is two. One times five is five. We finished with our hundreds column now. Now we're simply going to add everything up like we always do. Okay. Four plus zero plus zero is four. 8 plus 3 is 11, carry a 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 2 is 9. And 1 plus 5 is 6. There's your answer. So it's simple. Now that we've added in this column, we add two zeros over here. When you're working with this column, we add one zero. And working with units, we don't add any zeros. Okay, right. So bearing that in mind, let us do our next one, starting with our units. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Done with our units. Moving on to our tens. What do we do when I do, do our tens column? We add a zero. 4 times 2, 8. 4 times 1, 4. 4 times 4, 16. Done with our tens column, now we're going on to hundreds. What do we do for hundreds? We add on two zeros. One, two. One times two is two. One times one is one, and one times four is four. Now we're going to add up. Eight plus zero plus zero is eight. Four plus eight plus zero is twelve. Carry a one. Six plus one is seven, plus four is eleven plus 2 is 13. Let me just check here. Yep, that's 13. So we're carrying a 1 to here. Uh, so that's going to be 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 6 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and 4 plus 1 is 5. There we go. See, it's not so difficult. Just, it's really important to remember when you're working with your tens column, you put a 0. When you're working with your hundreds column, you put two zeros. Okay, so this screen now is your practice screen. I'm going to ask you to copy it all down, to press pause, to do it at home on your paper, and then to come back and press play and check your answers. See you now now. Okay, so you're back. Let's have a look at the answers. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 3 is 6. Done with the units. Now onto the 10s. Put our zero down. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 3 is 6. Done with our tens. On to our hundreds. Put two zeros down. 2 times 4 is 8. 
2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, add up. That's 8, that's a 16. That's 16 plus 7 is going to be 23. And that's going to be 14 plus 2, that's going to be 16. Okay, so there's your answer there. Right, next one. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 7 is 7. Done with that. Now on to the 10s. Going to put a 0 down. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 7 is 21. On to our 100s. Two zeros down for the hundreds column. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 7 is 7. Now we're adding up. 3, 11, 14 plus 3 is 17, 4 and 9. There we go. Done. Did you get them correct? I hope they worked out well for you. Uh, you know, just a lot of practice is needed. These lectures are intended to be revision during the coronavirus lockdown. If you are rusty on this stuff, you probably hasn't, haven't done enough of it at school, or alternatively, you've had gaps, and then it's just time to practice, 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 and it'll come right. Well done. We'll go on to carries next for this. See you in the next lecture, which is the last lecture on multiplication.